Imagine this. Jacob meets a new kidney, finds a willing donor, and receives the donor's kidney. They all live happily ever after. The more probable outcome is actually a rejection. Ooh. No, not that kind of rejection. Organ rejection that happens through immune responses. But to begin, we need a basic understanding of our body's immune system. The job of the immune system is to protect our bodies against foreign invaders. But how does our body know what's foreign and what isn't? The immune system doesn't react to self-peptides, which are distinctive markers or molecules that identify the cell as self, property known as tolerance. So think about it like this. Pretend that these Lego figures are our body's cells and our body is a certain country, say Legotopia. Notice that each Lego figure is holding their country's passport, telling us where they are from. These passports are analogous to self-peptides. If the figure's passport is the same as that of Legotopia, then Legotopia's police forces, or the immune system, won't react to it. Now, what about when a donor gives an organ or tissue to a recipient? In organ or tissue transplants, some foreigners holding different passports enter Legotopia, and these are the donor organ or tissue's dendritic cells. These cells have self-peptides or proteins on their surfaces called the major histocompatibility complex, which in humans is known as the human leukocyte antigen. The recipient cytotoxic T lymphocytes, or a type of white blood cell that basically kills other cells, represented here by these Legotopia police figures, have a special type of CD8 receptor that attaches to the donor cell's MHC class 1 molecules. These receptors recognize the specific antigen, notice the differences between the HLA of the foreigners and the Legotopia citizens, and initiate apoptosis, or program cell death of the donor cell. Now, the B lymphocytes enter the scene, and when activated, turn to plasma cells that produce soluble immunoglobulin antibodies. In our analogy, the police officers call on the help of police dog handlers, who, when summoned, release many police dogs. These dogs attach themselves to the passport in a certain location known as the epitope and serve as an opsonin, basically marking the foreigner as something that needs to be swallowed up by a phagocyte or police car. Also, tolic receptors that are on the membranes of these phagocytes help them secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines, which are proteins that signal more phagocytes to enter the area and help out in the fight. Since we are depicting phagocytes as police cars, the TLRs can be thought of as the flashing police lights and sirens that draw more police cars to come over and help. Okay, wow. Organ rejection is really complicated and sounds horrible. The recipient needs the organ, but his or her immune system fights against it. How do we prevent it all from happening? Well, recipients could take immunosuppressive medications that weaken their immune system or tissue typing could be performed which matches the donor tissue with the recipient by comparing HLA type to decrease the likelihood of rejection. So, handle organ transplants with finesse to increase their success. Thanks.